everybody, now we're going to take a look at uh, the villains, which are only two. So, first one we're going to take a look at for uh, the G.I. Joe Extreme line from Kenner, 1995, is Inferno with the uh, Firebolt Flamethrower. Pretty interesting looking dude. Not very handsome. Kind of has like a Deadpool kind of type, you know, motif color, you know, coloring going with the, um, the outfit and stuff. But, uh, let's check out the back. So the instructions on how to, uh, how to get them set up. Place peg on backpack into hole in figure's back and flamethrower in figure's hand. Squeeze tanks of backpack to make flame go in and out. Cool. And, um, look at the other figures and the specialty are Inferno, a.k.a. Kidwell Pyre. That's a funny name. Specialty Scar Skystalker. Hmm. I guess he's a Scar Skystalker squadron leader. Notorious Joker, who is anything but funny, uses newly invented vehicles and gadgets. He twistily calls toys to create mayhem and mass destruction. That's kind of funny. That's pretty funny. So I guess since he's a joker and his name's Kidwell Pyre, he's just kidding, but he kids well, so and he's in a flyer, but I guess like he's in charge of like flying vehicles or the or something. I, I haven't seen the vehicles for this line or I don't even know if they're made any. I'd have to research it and stuff, but um yeah, I'll have to look into that cuz it'd be kind of maybe cool to pick them up. They're cheap and not hard to find just like these. But uh, I really wish they would have made more um villains for this for this series, but I guess it didn't do too well. I don't, I don't imagine, I haven't seen the cartoon yet, but I imagine that didn't do too well, so. Ah. Oh, sorry about that. I've really been uh, wanting to check out this guy's uh, action feature on his weapon. Stand. Okay, cool. He stands pretty, pretty decently. <clears throat> Excuse me. Kind of cool little uh, Google Google glasses kind of eye thing going. Chin strap, kind of like a cyborg deal. Very cool. Kind of reminds me of, like the Predators get up right there with a the little. Uh, be, I don't know, maybe some kind of laser sight or laser thing or something. Who knows? And plus with his um, gauntlets. You could probably, uh, if you've switched heads with this guy or just, you know, kind of um, sculpted your own or like a uh, predator head, you could probably, yeah, make a custom. You could probably do some cool custom jobs with some of these figures. That's pretty cool. Not bad. And his weapon got this backpack piece which is just uh, has a little gold plastic uh, band around it with the peg nice detail on it though it's not bad it's cool orange hose in the back and it connects to the flamethrower right here which looks pretty cool Hmm. I don't know if this is supposed to glue in or what, but it doesn't look like it wants to stay in. Maybe I'd have to glue it or something or tape it, but we'll see. We'll see if we can get this gimmick to work. Oh, my bad. Alright, cool. Plug that in there. Alright. Okay, here we go. That's cool. And you got like the little flamethrower effect. That's pretty neat. That's cool. I can dig that. It sucks the hose doesn't stand very well. But uh yeah, I guess you could um I could always glue it. That's pretty neat, I like that. It looks really cool. And it's just like um 
It's like some translucent plastic. Like, say if they just had like a clear piece of, a piece of uh, orange or neon, kind of red or orange, translucent plastic, like a ribbon of it or strip of it. And then they rolled it up and uh, stuffed it in here. Yeah, it just pops out like that. It's a pretty cool guy. I like him. That's the thing about these figures. It's like, they look kind of cheesy at first, but once you kind of check them out with the action feature, they're not that bad. They're actually pretty cool. I like these a lot. I think when these originally came out in 95, I don't remember seeing them, but um, I'm sure had I seen them, these figures, I probably would have just been like, oh, these are stupid. Kind of like how I was with, um, excuse me, with... Uh, New Adventures of He-Man, like when those came out, I was like, oh, those are dumb, and um, and I dig them now, so, you know, it's just kind of weird, you kind of, I guess the older you get, the, um, I kind of, I don't know, I guess you kind of learn to appreciate certain things, or you grow to appreciate certain things, and you, um, I don't know, I guess you become less judgmental, you know, as far as what's cool and what's not cool, you know, but, um, anyways, it's a look at Inferno, and, um, once again, uh, everybody, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and um, yeah, uh, new reviews and all these stuff on the way, always, always, always love checking out the figures, new and old, that's cool, I like this guy, anyhow, I'll check you out later, peace.